so there's this kid out there. When I say kid, he looks like he's 12, but I think he's 21. I don't know. I haven't really done enough research into him, but he looks younger than me when I was 12. This guy just has a Twitter account that he dedicates to running interference for the Biden campaign for, I don't know, Gen Z voters or anybody who's going to take advice from a 12 year old. And the other day he put out a couple of tweets and this kid is getting bolder and bolder with the stuff he's putting out. We've talked about him before in terms of what he said about gun control and the goofy stuff that he's signing off on just because he's on his knees for Biden. But check this out. And how did Team Biden respond to this decision? They literally called for the assassination of my father and Supreme Court justices. Someone named Harry Sisson, a Biden influencer, I guess he's one of, oh, I think he's like this, some paid little troll or whatever, uh, tweeted, According to the Supreme Court, Biden could now send SEAL Team 6 to take them all out. He could send in the military to take out Trump. He has immunity for official acts now. Let's first have a little bit of perspective. What if some dude for the Trump campaign put this out about Biden? You know what happened to him? He'd probably be arrested the next day, charged with domestic terrorism, probably a couple other things. Call him a January 6er. Oops, we let one through the cracks, guys. Better call the FBI. But no, for you, it's, I don't know, do you think you have immunity as well? That's the thing about the First Amendment that people don't understand. We can say whatever we want, but there are certain things that if you say them, they're considered threats. And those can be considered a criminal act, depending on where you're at. So I hope you thought this one through there, buddy. But here's the reality. This is a fucking war. This is a war now, and we are fighting for our fucking country. And these assholes are going to take it away. They're going to take it away. Fuck you, Clarence Uncle Thomas. Fuck you. Joe, you now have the right to take that bitch Trump out. Take him out, Joe. If he was Hitler and this was 1940, you'd take him out. Well, he is Hitler, and this is 1940. Take him the fuck out. Blow him up. What are you asking for, man? Are you asking for Biden to murder his political opponent? What do you think would happen if that happened? One, the people would lose it. And when I say people, more than half the country. But isn't this kind of sad? I mean, I look at this like it's a good thing, to be honest with y'all. You got some 12-year-old looking fuckhead essentially calling for Biden to take Trump out. You know what that means? That means they're scared. That means they don't have any other options. That means that they can't win by just campaigning for what they're going to do for the country. Why? Because there's nothing you can do. You've already screwed up the country. It's already screwed up. It's done. Folks, nowadays I think privacy is one of the most important things you and your family can have. And unfortunately, if you haven't addressed it, the internet has hundreds of sites that have all of your personal information. And I personally have experienced somebody finding my address online and coming to my house. It didn't go well for them. But ever since then, I've taken my privacy online very serious. And it's why I've got y'all an amazing deal from DeleteMe.com. DeleteMe makes requests on your behalf to remove all of your personal info from these listing sites. My privacy is one of the most important things to me. And I imagine it is for you too. I've been using them for a while. I just got my most recent report all of my personal info, it's pretty much completely off the internet now. And they're doing it for less than 50 cents a day when you use my code. So go get your personal information off the internet. There's gonna be a link in code below the video. You can't go wrong with Delete Me. But then Harry gets a response from the campaign manager, Trump. And his campaign manager said, expect a visit. And so this guy just makes a response video. Hopefully I get one too, buddy. Donald Trump's campaign manager just threatened me on social media. I'm not joking. In response to the immunity decision from the Supreme Court this morning, and I guess the Trump campaign didn't like that very much because Trump's campaign manager, Chris Lasavita, responded to me by saying, expect a visit. Now, what do you think that means? Is the Trump campaign threatening me with a visit? Are they saying they're gonna send their guys to my house to try to keep me quiet so I won't advocate against their candidate? Is that what he's implying here? You know, I'm just using my First Amendment rights to tell them how awful their candidate is. But of course, the Trump campaign doesn't believe in all that. Trump said he wants to be a dictator on day one. This really is the perfect summary of the Trump campaign. Their candidate is so terrible that they have to resort to tactics like this. But here's my message to Chris Lasavita and the entire Trump campaign. No. 
I won't be quiet. The tens of millions of Americans who don't support Donald Trump won't be quiet either because we see Donald Trump for what he is, a con man, a fraud, and a convicted felon. I'm confused on how that's a threat. How's that a threat, dude? Now, what you put out in terms of calling for Joe Biden to use SEAL Team 6 to take out Trump, that would be considered a threat. And then if all that isn't enough, this guy really should be a politician or be a news anchor one day because the way that this kid spins words, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's grade A bullshit. I don't have to introduce this person because most of y'all have seen this, but the Hawk to a girl, she did a podcast the other day and she said this. Tell me if you want a hook to on that thing or no. Okay. 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 I think you might. Are you into like older guys? For sure. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Donald Trump. No, absolutely not. No. Uh uh. Uh uh. It's a no for me. Okay. Yeah. It's a no. And then after Harry goes breaking, the Hawk Two girls against Donald Trump. Just because she's not trying to get down with Donald Trump doesn't mean she's not voting for him. I mean, what would you say if I went on a podcast and somebody asked me, hey, would you get down with Donald Trump? You know what my answer would be? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, but I'll go play a round of golf with him. I'll go tell him that he's the fucking man. You understand how all this works, right? Once you start this cycle of being delusional and putting out crap information, it's gonna be pretty hard to walk back because everybody's gonna see you for what you are. You're a con man. You sit there and take something and you spin it six ways from Sunday and then you call it a fact. And then if that wasn't enough, he went on the Pierce Morgan show and uh, he called Donald Trump a rapist. Problematic thing is not that he's old or anything, it's that he was incapable of either articulating policy in a way that resonated uh, or holding Trump to account. And if you can't do that with, with a candidate like Trump, there's no hope. Biden should be laying out the policy, which he did. Uh, he seemed pretty coherent when he called out Donald Trump for assaulting and raping E. Jean Carroll. And what for being did you think? Okay. Well, I'm sorry. When was he convicted of rape? That's a pretty large accusation that you're thrown at Trump. You know when they said expect a visit? That may not be, oh, they're trying to arrest you. Maybe you're being served. But this is kind of what we're dealing with in America. Who wants to live in a country where everything that you're saying for your campaign in order to win is twisted. You know what people care about in this country? They care about transparency. They care about what you say during your campaign you're going to follow. What you tell the people you're gonna do in your campaign, you're gonna do. It's not just an advertisement. And then once you get into office, you blow it to hell. Just a little two cents for you there, little Harry. 